Rachel of Omaha first started creating the show Wild Kingdom in 1963. The hosts Marlon Perkins and Jim Fowler travel the world to meet animals and learn how to save them. 60 years later, the show is still spreading that message. KTV News Watch 7's Izzy Fonfara Drool reports. But the youngest among us are also the most vulnerable. Every year, animals are removed from the endangered species list thanks to conservationists like Peter Gross. Gross first joined Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom in 1985 alongside Jim Fowler. Now, he hosts the reboot. Some things have changed, like the science. First of all, it's much easier on the body. You're, you're not having to grab an animal with a researcher to actually study it. We can, as I say, send a drone out. And his new co-host, Dr. Ray Wynn Grant. I mean, it's an absolute dream come true. I used to watch the show as a kid and wish to be a host on the show. But the message stays the same. We're letting people to see the good news that's happening in conservation. It's not all gloom and doom. And then giving a little advice of what they might be able to do to help and how important it is that we continue our efforts in wildlife conservation. Friday, the hosts met with kids from Girls Inc. to answer questions about their jobs. How many places have you been? They explained that everyone has a place in wildlife research. Artists, right, people who paint for a living. We have educators, we have science communicators. We have all kinds of people who are contributing to wildlife conservation, but maybe aren't necessarily trained in science. Aside from conservation, the show aims to inspire future biologists and wildlife researchers. You can do whatever you want to do. In, in terms of conservation, you can be a research scientist like Dr. Ray, you can work at a zoo, you can do field replants, you can do so many aspects of the industry that you can become involved in, and anyone can do whatever they want to if they put their mind to it and are willing to put the work in. Izzy Fonfaradrool, KETV, Newswatch 7.